What's up everybody, it's Leo G. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm at Ted's Montana Grill near Radio City. Gonna check it out, specifically the bison, which is their specialty, and I'm gonna share it with you. So come along and enjoy. It's Ted's Montana Grill, named after Ted Turner. He's the media mogul that founded it, and there's locations all across the United States. One of their specialty items is bison. So, Ted Turner was actually one of the largest landowners in the US uh, at different points in time, and on that land, he would raise bison. And he was actually instrumental in revitalizing the bison population in the United States. And he uses that bison meat in the restaurant chain. So I'm trying out the bison, Ted's filet it's called. Eight ounce piece, got it medium cooked, and we'll see how it is. The design, the decor, has a lot of the Midwest, American frontier, pioneer type vibes. Cooking up the steaks on the grill right here next to the bar area. You can hear that sizzle. Hot sizzle. The theme of this place is very American frontier, pioneering the West. The name is Montana Grill. It has Ted's Montana Grill. So Montana, you know, the great outdoors, the great West. American flag planted in the bison steak for good measure. Some Parmesan crusted broccoli and some pickles. So a nice simple dish here. We'll try it out. And the placemat on the tables is a map of the West. So the theme is very consistent. Nice bounce to it. It's cooked medium. Some type of Ted's seasoning to cook this. All right, let's take a look inside of this juicy steak here. Look at that. Cooked medium. So nice and pink on the center. I don't know if you can see the fumes coming off there. Look at that juice dripping. Oh, yes. That's what we like to see. Nice pink interior. Juice running out. Let's get a bite. Mmm. Mmm. I 
haven't had bison in a long time. It's the perfect amount of chew, but still breaks down easily in your mouth, nice and tender. And there's a particular unique texture and flavor to bison meat. It is different than beef. I think the last time I had bison was at Fuddruckers, that burger chain. They used to have uh, bison burgers. I don't think I've had just a straight up bison steak anywhere though, at all, ever. This is good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh. So soft and just slowly dissolves in your mouth. And in a way, it's just simple. Let the bison meat quality speak for itself. They got a little bowl of pickles here for a little bite in between steak bites. Mmm. Refreshing. Oh, there on the western frontier. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did do 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 do? Mmm. All right, let's try out some of these broccoli pieces. So the broccoli's roasted, and then there's Parmesan dusted on after. More than a dusting. Get your vegetables, guys. Feels good to be eating nice, wholesome, hearty vegetables. No extra salt added or anything too salty tasting. Nice piece of that middle. Me and this bison are just hanging out today. Mmm, delicious, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, bison, so good, yeah. Very good. good quality, yeah. A little soft country type music playing in the background. Relatively quiet Saturday afternoon. In between the lunch and dinner, prime times. The key here with the bison is that it's all natural, grass fed, organic, you know, taken care of. The type of idea where the animals are very happy, they're having fun, they're with their family and friends. They have lots of hobbies and activities. Putting my hands together for this bison steak. Bravo, bravo. My feelings about this bison steak. That bison steak was fire. Oh yeah. Recommended. Johnny Cash playing in the background, of course. Mmm. Just me and you, that red, juicy, dripping, tender, succulent. Nice chunks of Parmesan crusted up into this broccoli. Getting those vegetables, cruciferous vegetables, high in fiber. The red pill or the blue pill. Mm. Every bite, two words, quality, meat. Back and forth with the broccolis. Wash her down with a little juice. I like the ambiance right now. It's quiet, it's calm. This is a form of meditation. Don't forget them pickles. Mmm. Nice little brine to balance in with the flavors. Mm. Mm. Do the bison dance. Football game on. Mm. Quite the juxtaposition of the bison on the wall and the bison on the fork. Last bite. Got the bolo tie. 
out of homage to the whole theme here. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Howdy. Good day to you now. Oh, that bison gets me going. Mmm. Yeehaw. Giddy up. Deep, sincere thank you to the fellow animal, the bison, out there on the great American plains. All right, everybody. I had the bison steak, the eight ounce Ted's filet. It's delicious, tender, juicy quality, cooked medium, so nice pink in the center with a side of Parmesan crusted roasted broccoli. Service is really nice, staff's really nice. The decor, I like the nice, spacious, large lounge type of place with a bar, with the tables, with the booths. It's also got that country vibe, you know, Western, Southern, all the music is country music. All the decor has all that pioneer, Midwestern. Well, the name's Montana Grill, right? So you can see what it's about. And I, the backstory of Ted Turner with the ranches, one of the biggest landowners in America. At one point, the biggest landowner and has a massive bison herd. And that's used as the meat for the restaurant chain. And it's of the highest quality, all natural, grass-fed, organic. All right, everybody, if you enjoyed that, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And click that notification bell icon so you get notified when new content drops. And most importantly, enjoy the ride.